While living on the streets, I found the Lord's place. They helped me to get an ID, and they gave me vouchers to get clothes from the Joshua thrift stores. They also helped me with housing at a halfway house, started me in some job readiness programs and job coaching, and which enabled me to get a job. After being released from jail, I found the Lord's place. They helped me with clothes. They helped me with job readiness and becoming an apprentice and a reception as a receptionist. They told me that I was worth more. They, they treated me like family. They told me never to quit. I saw Margaret one day at the Lord's place and I saw a ring on her finger and I thought, what a lucky guy. Jerry asked me about the ring on my finger, and I told him it was to keep the creepy guys away. Every time I'd go to the Lord's place, I'd pray I'd run into Margaret. I'd watch her with the clients and thought, what an amazing woman, I need to get to know her. We would, we'd started to meet at Cafe Joshua, which serves hot lunch to clients during the week. We would sit there and talk and eat. I would ride my bike one hour to see her at her halfway house. We would meet at Kayak Park and talk. We sat on the same very bench that I used to sleep on when I was homeless. Jerry asked me to marry him one year on that same bench that we used to talk. You're home. You're everything I'm not. I'm everything you're not. You're my missing puzzle piece. We got married August 27th. It's been an amazing journey and I'm very grateful for it. Our children are back in our life. They came to the wedding. What a blessing to hear our children say that they were happy for us and glad that they could be there. We are grateful for the Lord's place. They helped us lay the foundation for what we stand on today. Faith in God and trust in ourselves. With all the obstacles in our way, it was the Lord's place that cleared our path. I love you. I love you.